Oh, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Money sign Eric here, and I am very sick right now. It feels like I deep throated a cactus. <clears throat> like, it just hurts to swallow. She said this shit tastes so good, but bitch, you taste nut. Yeah. <laughs> like, it hurts to swallow my own saliva. But I figured it would be better to post this video with what I have than not post at all. Because then you guys would just flame the fuck out of me in my Instagram DMs. Viv and I, basically, uh, we gave ourselves $20, $10 each. We budgeted uh, for our meals for the weekend. And, you know, we just decided on what to buy, what to cook, and um, what to eat. Simple enough explanation, let's get to it. Viv and I didn't really have a vision when we went to Trader Joe's and ultimately we decided to buy ingredients that could be used in a variety of different meals and we were also considering the cheapest price among all the options. We were discussing if we should get the $5 beef or the $6 pork and for a budget video obviously beef is the right answer but Viv wanted pork so we got that but we actually put that back to get the pork tenderloin which was $1.50 cheaper, which also had a better meat to price ratio. That extra $1.50 may not seem like a lot, but it actually enabled us to buy this $1 onion and still have some money left over for dinner. The total cost of everything was $15.59, and honestly, grocery shopping like this was pretty fun, mostly because it forced Viv and I to be a little bit more cognizant and careful about what we were purchasing. The total cost of the groceries was $15.59, and so we got $4.41 left. We will be using this very carefully. The first thing that we're going to make with the ingredients that we have is sundubu, a Korean stew with tofu. So sundubu is a relatively simple dish to make and it is very delicious. But quick disclaimer, some of the ingredients that were used to make the sundubu were not a part of the Trader Joe's shopping list. Oh, fuck. And some of those, well, most of those ingredients are typically staples in Asian households where you commonly make stews and other dishes that use them. Honestly, those ingredients alone are probably more than $20, but for the sake of the video, we're just not going to count it. Anyway, to actually make the sundubu, you are going to put canola oil and sesame oil into a pot, heat it up, and then put in the pork. You just want to saute that for a little bit. And once the pork has a little bit of color on it, make sure it's not cooked all the way through. You're going to put in the onions and saute that as well. You're going to get a really nice fragrance going on. And then we're going to put in some garlic. A scoopful is nice. And then we're also going to add in the red chili flakes. And this is going to give some spice to the dish. Personally, Viv and I just like our things uh, really spicy. And once all of that has been cooking together, you're going to like let it like burn just a little bit. And that's when you add in about two cups of water. And then we also put in some uh, mushrooms that we've cut up. And then we're also going to add in some tofu. Now, the thing about sundubu is that you are supposed to use soft tofu. But uh, Trader Joe's only has firm, so what Viv did here is she just crushed it up with her hands and mushed it up together, and we're just going to be putting that in as a substitute. It effectively is the same thing, it's just that for some reason Koreans prefer the soft tofu. And then we're also going to add in an egg. So we use pretty much every single ingredient that we got from Trader Joe's to make this, aside from the tomatoes. We just made the sundubu and look who came. <laughs> She's mooching. She's fucking mooching. <laughs> All right, when you eat, please mm -hmm. close your legs because that little slither of gray, I know you're going to get something on it. Yeah, I bet so. you suck my wiener, bro. Um, oh. What? I like to add a little bit of sesame oil. You know, just like a... Ooh, yeah. Wow. It smells like BCD. We used every single ingredient that we got from Trader Joe's, aside from the tomatoes. And, uh, first bite, here we go. Mm. Oh, that's fuck, true. that's good. It tastes better than BCD. I'm sure it's spicy. Yeah. I think I love the sesame oil on this. That touch of sesame oil was perfect. 
Oh, yeah? Perfect, though. Yeah. It's just fire. The sundubu is really good. Uh, we might even have leftovers to eat for, like, the rest of the weekend if uh, fucking Sharon over here doesn't finish it all. <laughs> okay. I lied. There's going to be no leftovers because it's so good. I'm going to eat the whole thing. This is my fourth bowl, but, like, it's a small bowl. And we're out. What? You got something to say? Yeah. What? You eat all my food. That's on period. What? What? I'm just I don't know. It's like what the young kids say. What are we gonna do for dinner? Yay. <laughs> yes. What? Fighting. Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> you know when the guy was like starting it off for us? <laughs> Lighting is not great right now because it's like 10 p.m. But Viv and I and and Sharon. But uh, we're here in Sunset Park in Brooklyn now. We're about to eat lunch. I mean, fuck. I mean, dinner. I got $4 left. And we're going to make great use of it. So for those of you that have been watching me for like a really long time, my very first YouTube video, like my serious YouTube video, was Best Tacos in New York City. And this taco truck is a spot that, you know, Viv and I hit up. Props to, props to these guys, because this shit is bomb as fuck. Hopefully they didn't raise the prices. And hopefully it tastes just as good. You know the shit is legit because uh, not a single white person in line. It used to be like what one? It was two something, right? Yeah. It was two dollars. Like I should have fucking known. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. It's 10.30 and like everyone here is waiting in line for these tacos. I ordered one Al Pastor taco because that's all I could afford, man. I got $4 and the taco was $3 now. I was hoping to get two, but you know, it's, it's uh, unfortunadamente. Desgraciado. <laughs> yeah, we're broke as shit, bro. Have like we have a dollar and 41 cents left. Al Pastor Taco. First bite, here we go. This costs $3, and Biff and I are gonna share it because that's the only thing that fits within our budget. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. That's really good, right? Mmm. Alright, babe, it's all at yours. At least the quality didn't go down. No, 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 babe, you eat. No, it's no, no, you eat, you eat. As the provider of this family, you eat. That's crazy that you ate the last bite and didn't give me any. That's crazy. Look. <laughs> I think we should do a tacos part two. Normally, there's no way in hell I'm coming to a taco cart and getting one taco. But just for today's video, um, we can only eat one Al Pastor because that's pretty much all we can afford. I think what I'll do is I'm going to, uh, I'm going to come back to this taco cart uh, in a few days and I'll edit it in so that you guys can see what I would really order if I had the money to do so. So yeah, let's do that. What up guys, it's Monday. It's been like two days since uh, Viv and I have been here to uh, Tacos El Bronco. You know, I am wearing the same shirt and it is the same time, but yeah, look at the mustache. Shaved out, so it's gotta be a different day, right? Viv and I are going to order from Tacos El Bronco like we usually would if we had the money to do so. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. First bite, here we go. Mm. They do their salsa so good. Joe says good. That's when we had it on Saturday. <laughs> Look at this onion. Mmm. Mmm. Ah. Oh. Viva Mexico. Viva Mexico. Excuse me. Why are you eating that? 
I'm hungover. It's, it's not a part of the budget. Viv is eating uh, instant pho from Costco, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, just, just know that that was not a part of the video. Ugh, fuck. I kind of want to eat that too now. <laughs> Teriyaki, come here. Come eat. I don't know why they eat on the fucking carpet. They just they just take their food over there. <laughs> they really just take it one by one. I don't know why. Dude, he's literally watching her to make sure she's not looking. Wow. What a sly dog. Oh. <laughs> Terry. Terry, come here. You can eat this one. All right, you want to make dinner? Uh, I mean, breakfast now? Yeah. Okay. What are we making for breakfast today? Well. Uh-huh. Talk to him. The only thing we Talk have. Talk to him nice. Make that pussy for it. Sorry, I'm not going to put that in. The only thing we have is eggs, uh -huh. mushroom, and tomatoes. tomatoes. Okay. So we're going to have eggs, mushrooms, tomato. Nice. That's what I like. This is actually enormous for a fucking grape tomato. Oh, they gave you a wrinkly ball sack one. Mm -hmm. Just like yours. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm saying like my oh, actual like... sack looks like that. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. but I'm sure that I'm sure the actual testicles like smooth. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, for how sure. would you how would you know that? What I've do you mean? I've seen a sure? lot of dog neuter videos. All right, I'm gonna end the video. <laughs> Shut up! Hey, stop! I have a pimple. <coughs> Now, I have a question. Okay. People sometimes tape the nub off, for example, just like this. Yeah. And I'm like, why well, wouldn't I, you eat this? I like that part. Me too. I like it too. That's why we're meant to be. So, I know. So, I want to ask if people, like, actually cut it off. Wait, you're, you're asking the video? Yeah. Oh, okay. I want to know if they eat that. Ta-da! Using all the, well, most of the ingredients that we, um, that we got from Trader Joe's. You know, nutritious and filling, so I don't really have much to complain about. First bite here we go. Um, can't go wrong with fucking eggs in the morning. I actually used to eat, um, six eggs at a time. Back in my junior year. Yeah, no one told me not to eat six eggs, because it was my first time cooking for myself, because I was living in the city for the first time. And I would buy, like, four dozen eggs. Oh my god. Well, it was like six, eight dollars. Yeah. yeah, then my ex-girlfriend at the time was like, what the fuck are you doing? When she saw me cook them. So uh, I stopped making six eggs at a time. I stole so much too. Eric. <laughs> the Trader Joe's filet mignon, I'd be like. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, but I don't do that shit no more. Don't steal, guys. It's not good. Last time I stole, I had some serious repercussions. Oh. I accidentally uh, found myself a wife because I stole her heart. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Oh my god. Alright, she liked that inside. I did. <laughs> I knew it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm really sorry that I wasn't able to finish this video all the way. Um, the last meal was supposed to be uh, mapo tofu, but Viv and I really wanted soup right now. Uh, because of her throats and also uh, apparently you're not supposed to eat spicy shit anyway uh, i got a new video coming out next tuesday for you guys i will be sure to upload you know so yeah i'll see you guys next week peace